So let's do some more practice with HTTP and our home component. So now what we can do in our home component, we can actually change this home image list to being actual video images, right? So from being actually in the videos. So let's go ahead and go back in there and I'm gonna grab some of these image links. I have videos one through six. So going back into video, I'm gonna just add a new item in here, say item or image rather and put that actual image there. So this is the, the path to that image. We'll do that um, a couple more times. So we'll just only have three of them there. And I'll just say um, the same numbers as before. So we'll do four, five, six, and we'll leave out one. Okay, so back in here, four, five, and six. Okay, and then we have title here, but I also have link. So link instead of, you know, slug, um, which is fine, we can do the same sort of thing, but I don't actually wanna have that link. So if I come back in here, I'll see that I have image item dot link. That should actually be image object dot slug, because again, we're changing it. And it'll just be videos and then that. And right here, I'll give it to image obj dot name. And up here, we'll also say dot name. Or rather, down here, maybe we'll just say view. Because it's just a link. Okay, so we've got that image item. Got a lot of stuff that's working here. So back into this home component, we're gonna import HTTP, HTTP from Angular HTTP down here. Put it first, private HTTP, oops, lowercase HTTP, and then uppercase HTTP, comma. So now that we've got this, we will say ng in it, this dot, well, again, we're gonna put req, private req, any, this dot req equals to this dot HTTP dot get and the same get recall we've done. So, well, we can actually just copy this whole thing, going back into the home portion. Okay, so we've got video list. Instead, we called it home image list. Notice I have some backups, but I only want three, so I'll leave that out. Um, I do have some backups, but I changed it a little bit. So let's change this to slug to fit our other data. and change title to name, there we go. Okay, so now we're changing that. And we don't need this as any because we actually declared some data. Okay, so since we've got this, we wanna actually add in on destroy. Because again, when we see subscribe, we need to destroy it as we leave. Just ng on destroy this dot request dot unsubscribe. Okay, so now we should be able to actually see this. It should actually come from this data. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go back to our home page, and we see that it says welcome. Click on view, it takes me to welcome. Go back, there we go. Perfect. Item two takes me to item two, just as we expect. So of course, these are showing image four, five, and six, right? So it's it's actually getting that data. Um, but of course, I could go one step further, is I could say that instead of home item list, let's go ahead and comment these out for a moment and go back into home detail and we'll just do slide. I'll put the carousel ng if home item list dot length is greater than zero, or rather, you don't have to do that. You could just do if home item, home image list is in there. So now what I want to do is actually just say in my JSON, I'll just say featured true. And 
featured true for two of them. Okay, so back into my home detail. I've got this item here, but again, we wanna filter this. So data.json.filter and item equals to, well, if item.featured, then we'll say this dot home image list push item. Let's comment that out, save that, go back to the home page, and we've got two items now. It's just showing two. Cool. So going back into JSON, we'll say featured is only featured on one of them. Come back, and now it's only showing welcome. Okay, so what happened here is we've got featured actually declared on two parts of the JSON, and then the last one is not even there. So that's where it's smart enough to know that, hey, this is true. It's only gonna show the true ones. It doesn't show false or undefined. That's it. And then this actually appends the item to the array, and then we've got our home featured looking a little bit better. So if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.